Daniel Hooker. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in a striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Switching stances here. All right, going for the early takedown. He gets it, so no surprise. He wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is McGregor's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. We cross the midpoint in round one. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Back to the feet now. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big punch lands through the middle. Lands with a right hand. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. Huh? His timing is on shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your tongue. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. Big punch lands over the top. Oh! I'll just follow this one. Just might as well keep throwing. He's gonna keep oh, 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 just digs into the body. He's shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh! Big knee to the body! Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after.
comes through with a big knee. Beautiful knee. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to oh. Oh. He's, 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 he's hurt bad. here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win 